my god, I'm having a day. Welcome to my atmospheric video. I had this whole like, this whole Halloween vibe planned. It fell apart. I did do my Halloween makeup. I did a, so I tried my best. Oh, I hi. I used the entire, well, I still have to use cheese the entire time while I'm vampire bridge. I don't know. I'm having a day. This video is fragrances that I've added to my fragrance collection. Um, there's a bunch that I've moved out. I actually have quite a few empty fragrances. A lot of them are travel sizes, but they're still empty. So I'm really proud of myself for that. And then these are new bottles that I've gotten in. Some of you have seen them already. So I'm gonna like gloss over some of those. And a lot of them are travels or decants. Um, but since I'll be talking about those in upcoming videos, I figured I might as well include them anyway. So glossing over very quickly, the ones that you saw already were the fragrances I picked up from Sugar and Spite, the Eau de Parfum in Spider and the Fly as well as the oil perfumes in the fragrances Hellsville and Sin in My Heart. So that's these two. But like I said in this video that you may have seen, I did end up going back and getting the Eau de Parfum of Hellsville as well. And this is absolutely delicious. I can't wait to wear it layered with the oil. I mean, you really should get these. At least you should. I mean, if I'm giving you any suggestions about indie perfumes this season, I think you should go get Hellsville at least. So that was the second order that I did from Sugar and Spite. I also placed an order on Dua. That's where I got the samples that I showed in my samples from Dua video. Really amazing, I know. Have I blown your mind yet today? <laughs> why can't, why is my Dracula British? I don't know. Um, so the, the person, the fragrances that I picked up from Dua, Dua, they were on the 30% and they did that opening their vault thing and I really wanted to buy some fragrances because they were $33. But by the time, literally within minutes, there was only one that I wanted that was still in stock and I just, I didn't want it that bad. So I guess I'm proud of myself for that. I really am. Um, I have Alienated Essence from Dua. Look at how gorgeous and dark and juicy that is. And this is like not even, I mean, I've had this for like a couple weeks. So this is their dupe for Mugler Alien Essence Absolute. It's not the same <laughs> in my opinion, but when I started getting kind of like a hankering to wear Alien Essence, I'm like, there is no way that I'm going out to buy a bottle of this. I'm gonna buy a dupe and that'll be good enough. And it is, okay? For the hankering that I get every now and then to wear Alien Essence, the, this is fine, this is fine. The wood caps, I don't think are fine. I dislike them. I don't, I think they look trashy. That's my opinion. I'm embarrassed by them, but no one asked me. So yeah, if you're kind of a fan of Alien Essence, but not that big of a fan, get the dupe. It's perfectly good. And then, hello, um, one of the fragrances I tried at the Labo during their city exclusive event was the Benjamin 19. Um, I believe it is the Moscow City exclusive, but I, I remembered at the time I was like, this is fine, but it's not necessarily something I can see myself wearing every day. 
when I went to go, I, I wanted to buy one, right? I really wanted to buy one, but they're stupid expensive. And if you watch my vlog, you'll see my whole experience was not great with Lolabo. Um, so I went on to Dua because I was already planning on buying Alien Essence, the, the Alienated Essence. And I was like, I wonder what dupes they have for those city lines. They had a few, but none of the ones I was interested in. But they also had the 19 Shades of Benjamin. Um, and it's an interesting fragrance <laughs> to begin with, which is why I was like, hmm, not really loving this. But it's even more interesting, I think, in the Dua dupe first. <laughs> I got it everywhere. It starts off like heavy, heavy, heavy Dua, Dua synthetic DNA, that almost burnt rubber smell. But I don't mind it. I like that. Okay, I like the burning kind of plasticky, rubbery, however you describe it. I like it. So it starts off that and then within a few minutes, it starts becoming so creamy and woody. Creamy is not the best word for this. It's woody, but it's not like woody. Benzoin is a wood sap and it is um, an amber type of fragrance category. And to me, it can often smell like hairspray and it does smell a little bit ha like hairspray at the beginning. But then it becomes quite woody, warm, sweet, ambery, and it's not my favorite fragrance that I've ever gotten, but I find myself reaching for it quite more than I expected to. I actually really didn't like it at all. When I first got it, I thought, this isn't going to be one for me, I'm going to sell this. And then I found myself, like, I'm reaching for it more and more i really like it and i think it's going to be really nice in the winter so those two from dua i added one more full-size fragrance actually i had a few others but i am returning them so i'm not going to show them because I, why i what's the point um i purchased from italian Dranche in their orange extraordinaire collection the scent frustration so i did buy this second hand but i got an email that this scent is going to be available on the italian orange website in the u.s starting at the beginning of november i believe so if you like the notes of this and want to check it out wait till then you may even be able to sign up ahead of time and get samples beforehand just an insider tip for a tad of Dranche. So Frustration is a gourmand, sweet, it has chestnut, there's something creamy in it, there's vanilla for sure. Um, I'm gonna put it I'm gonna put it on but I'm also gonna be putting it over at that Benzoin so it's probably not the best place. Yeah, it's like coffee, it's got like coffee, hazelnut, chestnut. Um, it's nutty, it's creamy, it is very gourmand. Um, and it's definitely winter only. Like for me, this I would not be able to wear this in the summer. Um, but it's really nice. I've had some trouble with the Orange Extraordinaire Collection um because they're either very <laughs> they're either very boring and too basic for the price that they ask or they're a little bit too constructed um and a little bit too eldo <laughs> for the price that they asked and frustration and spice must flow fall straight right right in the middle soul of my soul does as well but it's similar to spice must flow so I, I don't need it um so if you've been looking at these collections but you're not sure which ones you should go for if you're a gourmand fan go for frustration it's a good one then the decants i did a decant swap with a 
fragrance lover here in Las Vegas and I got some decants to try out. Um, and then I also got some smaller decans and samples of things. So she let me smell Baby Cat from YSL. That one's been hyped up. Um, quite a few different things so that if I decide to buy or buy dupes, I'm not saying I'm doing that, but just in case, um, I will know what they smell like. So two from Scentbird. And I just signed up for Scentburn again, so they are like all fancy now. You, I can't even explain. I, I felt like, ow, ow. My master sweat and my masterful strength, I ripped open a while and I got it out. <laughs> so from Scentbird, I guess I can't reuse that, but that's fine. I have another thing I can use. I have the Commodity Milk Plus. Um, and this is another like gourmand creamy type of fragrance. It's really yummy. Um, I almost bought this, like blind bought the whole bottle, but milk scent, I was like, is that gonna be weird? Is that gonna be weird? So I, I'm really glad to be able to try it because now I've, I want to buy the bottle, I like it. And then I also have the Harmonist Metal Flower, which I had gotten in a scent bird previously. If you've gone back, you can go back and find it if you want, or I'll put it up here. But I got this previously and I really enjoy it. I love the middle note. I think I ended up trading it. I'm not sure what I did with it, but I don't have it anymore. So now I have it back. I'm excited. I got the Lorenzo, I got the Lorenzo Pazagalia. I got Lorenzo Pazagalia Vampirum. <laughs> and this is supposed to be like a chocolatey boozy, I think it's like supposed to be like a chocolatey boozy creamy kind of scent. Um, I haven't put this on yet because I have several other similars and I know that this is a little bit more expensive and I'm kind of afraid that I'm really going to like it and then I'm going to have to try to find it to buy it and I don't want to do that yet. Um, but do, I do recommend, so far I do recommend Vampirum. I'll put it down below so it's easier to figure out what I'm talking about. And then I have for Musicology the Rose. And this one is a little, lot, little, little, a little lot different than my normal style. Um, it's kind of a green tea rose, like a Victorian rose, but then it's got like a wood underneath. I think this will be really nice as a winter transitioning to spring scent, or even as a winter rose, if you layer it with like a vanilla. I have thoughts in mind for this. I'm excited. And then the one that I've been wearing a lot lately, one of my, the probably not my favorite because I really like them all, but I've been wearing this a lot. Like I've just been gravitating towards this from Pierre Guillaume. This is Dialogue with Venus. This sticker is so freaking cute. Whoever made this decant did the, uh, such a good job. Anyway, this one is um, like a creamy peach and vanilla, like a Chantilly cream kind of peach and vanilla scent with a little bit of fluffy, I want to say like a pastry vibe, but it smells really edible when I wear it, but I also get a strong like um, peach or apricot note. So my cat is going insane back there trying to get in. So those are the fragrances that I have recently added to my collection. Like I said, I do have a few that I'm returning. So if I was mentioning something or if I talked about a fragrance that I didn't show, um, it just is because that scent did not work out and unfortunately is not going to be staying in my collection. So I hope that you enjoyed this video and I will see you on the next one. Whoa.